good evening folks welcome to another pleasant evening with these love the language we are almost at the at the end of adverb we will take today adverb of frequency and then left with only adverb of degree that probably we wouldn't be able to cover today adverb of frequency always comes before the main verb of the sentence that's one thing adverb of frequency the words you will find in the, in the in the bracket in the in the part of adverb of frequency always similar to adverbs of time but the main difference of adverbs of time and adverbs of frequency is as you know we covered very clearly in our respective episode that adverbs of time come either at the beginning or at the end of the sentence quite often usually and in this case adverb of frequency this comes before the main verb of the sentence so since the definition is almost similar sense the difference of adverb of time coming at the end or at the beginning or in this case it comes before the main verb of the sentence the examples the words coming in both the format both the forms are also more or less same almost similar like if you take the example always that's coming under time and also under frequency if you take never that is also an example for adverb of time as well as adverb of frequency if you take usually again it comes under both brackets but when it is coming at the beginning or at the end of the sentence you can distinguish yes this is the adverb of time or when it comes in any sentence it comes at just before the main verb you can say yes this is an example for adverb of frequency in that particular sentence that's the only difference come let's go straight this is for adverb of frequency say example seldom okay usually again never uh again always okay let's form a sentence with the first example that is seldom we all must have heard the very popular proverb barking dog seldom bites all dogs bark then no dogs bite or what that is one sarcastic doubt but it's only a proverb it's only say barking dog seldom bites that bite is the word seldom okay i'm just writing it down barking dog seldom bites see bites is a verb action it's only a saying it's only a proverb it's not 100% true but colloquially we use this saying uh, since good old times uh, another true example i will tell you we tried to persuade our boss but as you know he seldom succumbs to pressure we try 
to persuade our boss but he seldom succumbs see seldom seldom means almost nil very rare you can say it's it's zero so that's the meaning of seldom we try to persuade our boss but he seldom succumbs succumbs means succumbs to pressure there are people whom whom you can you can not easily persuade to do something to act upon something so this boss is one kind of such persons that we just failed to to persuade him or persuade her we don't know but the boss is is a is a lady or a gentleman so sentence wise it's perfect absolutely no problem next is usually 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 oh my friend is good at sprint my friend is good at sprint and usually brings laurels L A U R E L S Lorraine to our college. My friend is good at sprint and usually brings laurels, medals, prizes to our college. Next, again. the trainer clarify her doubt the trainer clarified her doubt but she clarified her doubt again you can use again and again but here the word is only again so fine the trainer clarified her doubt again but she failed to understand it happens sometimes you are a smart pupil you are a smart student but you are preoccupied or your mind is not in the right frame and the trainer and the teacher tells you again and again something and you keep repeating the mistake so probably something similar to that in this case as far as this sentence example statement is concerned the trainer clarified her doubt again but she failed to understand okay next is always another example is using always
my friend and family my friend and family always visit always visit this particular restaurant my friend and family always visit this particular restaurant maybe that restaurant is popular for some special food maybe that's the reason why this restaurant has become the talk of the town and that's the reason why my friend and family always visit this particular restaurant we always have some preferences generally whether we are in in a village or in a or in a city or a small city or big city it doesn't matter but the point is as far as our our food taste is concerned we have certain 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 preferences and not too many restaurants provide you the stuff the taste you you prefer you feel like to have so what we normally do is you you learn in in a in a different place in a new place and you try to find out the famous popular restaurants over there and once you like the stuff food stuff there uh, you 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 make it a practice whenever you get time or whenever you feel like to have food from outside you you visit that restaurant so it's very it's a very common thing so this is the the example statement here my friend and family always visit this particular restaurant so another and the final example here today is never he is such a fine fielder fielder he is such a fine fielder that he never misses too many catches he is such a fine fielder that he never misses too many catches maybe once or twice or rare, rarely he, he misses a catch but as a whole generally the bottom line is he is such a fine fielder that he never misses too many catches we are talking about cricket cricket fielding so i think i have covered enough examples there are again plenty of examples you can find in adverb of frequency but with these examples i hope the statement is clear the meaning is clear and hopefully we can smoothly move on to the last part of adverbs that is adverb of degree in our next session hope you have enjoyed my session please press the bell icon to subscribe share with your friends like my channel that's it for today see you again next week same day same time till then it's bye from abhay good night